very quick blender game engine physics tutorial I try and do this quickly I want to simulate dropping a whole bunch of marbles into a into a bowl of some sort so I'm going to use a uh, add a add a cone just change the size change the depth of it a bit make it a bit inside out that's pretty good I'm going to remove uh, this face now so it becomes hollow face select remove the face yeah, it's hollowed so I just want to just check if that renders Uh, in the game engine first no I can't see it so I need to just flip the normals so I'm going to edit mode select all mesh faces flip the normals okay back to object mode yep now I can see it excellent now I'm going to add a ball which I'm going to use a icosphere lift it up slightly and uh, just test that cool I'll smooth it out I'm gonna smooth that while the, the bowl at the same time smooth now I'm gonna set the physics options the ball is a rigid body and the bowl ball or bowl is a static it already is if I should if I press play there we go it lands I'll just move it sideways so it rolls P there you go you can see it rolling now that's it at its most basic but I'm gonna make it a bit more interesting now I want lots of balls falling into this bowl and then, then I'm gonna rotate the bowl just to see how it works and I want to add some textures and materials as well new material new texture which I'm going to use just a color color grid here and uh, use generated material maybe generator is not the best Perhaps just try object. No, let's try normal. How does normal look? No, normal looks wrong. Let's try reflection. Reflection looks pretty good. Let's go back to just generated. P. Okay, let's do the same down here. New, new color grid um, mapping generated. Oh, very good. When I play, it goes differently. I don't really know why. Maybe it's a bug in this version of Blender. When I press play, anyway, let's add some more balls. Shift D for duplicate. Press play. And I just checked it on in GL. So, hmm. there we go. That looks much better. It's a tricky one. That one. Okay, let's have a look again. Add some more of these balls. Just lift that higher. Shift D for duplicate.
press play. Play. Cool. Excellent. I want even more balls. Let's have a look at that. Let's duplicate and go up. Duplicate, 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 duplicate. Play. Well, few of them fell off. Let's just pick something that's in the middle there. And uh, duplicate it. Start again and add a few more just around this point here. Makes it a little bit more dramatic. Let's have a look. Whoa. Oh no, now they're all falling off. Gee, they're all too big, aren't they? Let's try that from there. Have a look at it again. Very good. Now, in the blender the, that looks if that was real that would happen much faster than that so how I fix that in the physics settings here gravity 9.8 meters a second that is supposed to be but if you times uh, 9.8 it's actually 9.8 squared is what you should be using I'm just going to get my calculator and work out what 9.8 times 9.8 equals because 96.04 so if you put 96.04 into that box and then press play it's more realistic. It looks much more as if you've got a bunch of marbles in your hand and you drop it onto a plate. And I don't know if that's a bug in Blender or not. Maybe someone can comment in the comment on that. There it is. Cool. Now to make that a little more interesting, I'm just going to get that bowl there and spin it around in circles as well. Go into the logic editor with the bowl selected which is a cone. Add an actuator being a motion. I'm just going to rotate at 0.5 degrees on the z-axis. Add a, an always sensor and uh, join that up and go. Bang! There it is spinning around. If I speed it up a little that should be enough to flick everything off. Oh, a little bit. Mm, nope. Let's have a look. Two, de two degrees for each tick. Whoa. Slowly What does it look like in camera? Mm, no, it's P. Speed it up even more. Three degrees. P. Oh no, spin cycle. The one in the middle, which is staying there. <laughs> One's flipping around. Come on, gravity. Let's 
let's speed that up to five. Whoa, there we go. Jeez, I think the one's the one in the middle, so <clears throat> stubborn. Ten. P. Bing dong. Whoa. There we go, that's pretty good. And that's pretty good. Let's try that in full screen. <clears throat> 